Today I have a really quick video for you showcasing why cross dissolves might be more powerful than you first suspect in Final Cut Pro. Here I am with a very basic timeline. I just have a couple shots. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this cut and push Command T to create a cross dissolve transition. The cross dissolve transition is very basic. If I push play, you can see it's just a normal fade transition. But did you know that there's actually some extra features with the cross dissolve transition? What we can do is go to the top right hand side of the screen and in your inspector, you are going to find these cross dissolve options. Current Currently, the look is set to video. What I'm going to do is actually change this over to shadows. And now if I push play, you can see how the shadows of the secondary shot actually come through before the rest of the shot comes through. Now we can also change the amount. I could drag that up to a full 100 and you'll actually see the shadows appearing quite a bit more from that secondary shot. Now there's also highlights. If I push play, you can see how the highlights of the previous shot actually remain for quite a bit longer. So it's taking the brightest parts of the two images and combining them so you can actually see it over the top of the darker parts of the image. We have subtractive. So if we push play, you can see how it actually almost darkens the image first. And that is because it's using the subtract blend mode. The subtract blend mode essentially takes the two darkest parts of the image, it lays them on top of each other, thus creating an even darker image. It's subtracting the light from it. After subtractive, we also have additive. So if I push play, you can see how there's almost a brightening of the image. And again, that is the blend modes. It's adding the two brightest values together to create a brighter value after that. Let's go on over to dull. And if I push play, you'll notice it's almost as if it's going down to a gray tone. So rather than fading to black, it's kind of fading to gray. After that, we've got sharp. Now sharp is a little bit crazier than you might expect. If I push play, you can see it has this really, really cool looking effect where everything kind of darkens down. The sun gets really, really saturated. I'm not actually totally sure what it's doing, but I really like how it looks. Then we also have warm, which is kind of a brightening of the image. It, to me, it almost looks like it's fading to white in a way. Then we have cold. And cold looks like maybe a mixture of sharp and maybe subtract. I'm not totally sure what it's doing there. We've got dark, which looks like it's going down almost to black. Then we've got bright, which makes it look like it's actually brightening the image, of course. And finally, we have film. Now, I personally can't find any differences between film and video. I suspect they were trying to emulate something that films would do with these cross dissolves. My eye can't catch it. Maybe somebody down in the comments can explain a little bit better. But that is the power of cross dissolves in Final Cut Pro. There are a lot more features than you might first realize. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.